I've been saying it for a long time. If you know, then you know. And this is a specific one. I think when we started this series, if we ever got to a point where we could be in downtown Detroit, I could be with this guy, and we could be in a spot where Lafayette Coney Island, right next to American Coney Island, a dude that appreciates food, Appreciates culture, Conies, appreciates Coney's, Detroit. Detroit, fingers on a hand. I appreciate digits. I cannot wait. And we're gonna do Corey as a blind taste test. He's not gonna know which Supposedly one he's eating. Supposedly the two great colossal beasts. If you blindfolded me and had me try American and Lafayette, I would not be able to tell the difference. Not identical, very similar. This is a dog fight. Lafayette Coney Island, American Coney Island, Coney Dogs acquired jump cut. Careful with mustard, by the way. Why? You're getting it on your clothes. Is it a stainer? Mustard? I've never dribbled anything on my body in my life. I wouldn't know. What about a lifetime of regret? <laughs> like I said, Corey has no idea which one's which. I'm gonna tell him which one to eat first. Pick that one up. Gotcha. So describe what you're seeing here. Onions, mustard, bun, a sauce, dog. What's the sauce? Coney sauce. What kind? Uh, kind. Detroit. What? Detroit Coney sauce. Detroit Coney number uno. Dog number one. On screen, you are currently seeing which place it's from. Corey does not know right now. I want to see the Corey, screen. Corey, your first cheers of a Coney from Detroit. Uh, Detroit Coney. Mmm. <laughs> it's a good dog. I see the crisp that you're always talking about. That the, snap. The that flavor snap. of that's really, really good. Even the hot dog flavor is good. Right. It's tough to eat this without. It gets a little sloppy. Mm hmm. Especially because I want to eat this out on the side of my mouth because my dead tooth hurts. But I have to go front wise to get the not mm -hmm. chili on my face. Right. Mm 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 mm. It's really good. I gotta say, I definitely, 100%, like this better than Chicago dogs. Yeah, that's no, a no stupid, question. You're gonna throw a tomato on there? No question. Don't try to sit here, compare those two. Mm-hmm. They can't do it. No. Also, I can't wait to show you how little I've spilt and how proud I am. Oh. <laughs> Bad timing. Right on your pants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry! Mm. These onions. Dude, you know I'm such a big onion guy. Especially fresh. If I worked in downtown Detroit, I would probably get Coney's. Every day. For lunch. Probably three days a week. Why not? I used to in Finley, Ohio, they had a place called Jim, uh, Jim's Dogs, and they were dope. And I used to go there every day. Or every week. Okay. Now I have to compare that to this one. There's no rating, it's just which one you like better. On screen, if you didn't see during the first one, the second one is called Boom. Can I okay. tell you how I think you know the difference? Onion size? Yeah. Booyah. Man, I wish you would let me even say that because that's I knew exactly you could what tell. I, was say. I knew you could tell. Dude, wow. you're an onions guy. You're an mm -hmm. onions guru guru. Do you even cry when you cut onions? Or do you yeah, like I do. do you leap around I your wish. apartment and dance? I wish it was like crack for me, but it makes me cry like a little child. Me too, dude. I'm so bad. Hold on. This okay, ready? It's a little more difficult to manage. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Hold on. Mmm. Mm, um, hope I don't disappoint you. You won't because they're both great. This is my favorite. Yes! Really? <laughs> I know what it is. I think that mustard or something kicks in a little bit harder. Dude. And, and mixes well with it in there. Notice how I was pretty silent. Mm -hmm. Put my and sunglasses on. Size. You know how normally I give shit away pretty yep, quick. Yep. I was really trying to be. Let me choose, yeah. I didn't know which one to have you have first. I kind of just went random. <laughs> the chili, mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. The flavor of it. The other one was really, really good, but there's like. I feel like there's some spices or something in there mm -hmm. that they don't have in the other one that I like am enjoying. I think it's the spices kind of coming from that chili. Yeah, and, totally. And kind of like helping the whole thing out. Yeah, it's like not aggressive, it just goes there's well. There's just something about it, right? It's just a little bit better. Yeah, that's incredible. That chili sauce, that's that's the truth. It's the real deal. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, I definitely think Toledo's are better than Chicago, but that might be better than the Rudy's, and that's I think they're better than Rudy's. The Rudy's is really good as well, but I like that spice. I agree. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's mm -hmm. good. I know. Look into that camera. Lafayette. Coney Island. Coney. Kylie in the back. 
who's been just pushing through and having to be a part of this today. Also had a Lafayette, just regular dog. Loved it, right? Yeah, it was delicious. Delicious, delicious. I want you to look in this camera right now. I want you to look in this camera, and I want you to say, which one wins? Lafayette versus American. Lafayette is the champions. <sighs> Definitely. Yes. No questions. Both yes. amazing. That's yes. like one of those prize fighter. You get yes. to see the two of the best boxers go yes. at each other, but the best man won. Oh my God. And I seriously didn't say anything to him. I'm from out of town. Yeah. He's not even from Detroit. Lafayette, you've done me proud once again. Mm -hmm. Downtown Detroit, like Shelby and Lafayette, Griswold and Lafayette, right between those two. I'm Lafayette. Just get here and eat it. One would say like, eat it. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. This was day quattro. Quattro. Numero. That's right. Day four. Road trip. Chicago to Detroit to Toledo to Chicago. New episode tomorrow. One Once last again, Detroit one thing. One last Detroit thing. Thank you for being a part of this. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Donate.